Yeah, I think it's working. Hey, TV people, I will amend Mud Duck back to you. It's Monday, April 18th. And, uh, I'm confused. Rhonda keeps texting me, telling me about how bad her situation is, how <coughs> bad her car is, asking for help. <coughs> what suggestions do I have to get her car started? <coughs> She's been stuck out in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of idiots for the last 28 days. And it's like, uh, okay, and how is that my problem? And texted me half dozen times this morning. Is worried she's going to lose what charge she has on her battery and won't be able to uh, get her phone to charge. And, and once again, it's, where is this my problem? I, if I remember right, I ceased to become being her problem damn near a year ago. Real damn funny. Sitting here watching TV, and the first time I'm having some of this uh, avocado, spinach, uh, parmesan dip, and chips like we used to eat. And the first time I'm having any since we weren't seeing each other as a snack while watching. Uh. The outlaw Josie Wales, she starts texting me. Okay, I'm pretty sure that uh, that was odd. But she wants to complain about what idiot she's with and wants me to fix her car. And it's like, uh, I don't think so. Try to lay down, get a little bit of sleep, but my little voices in my head were arguing with each other. One group of little voices is busy arguing that, uh, and calling her every foul name ever considered. And the other little group of voices in the back of the head is busy telling me, well, she's human, she needs help, she yada, 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 you know. I think they want me to jump into the Captain Save a Hole spandex with the goddamn uh, cape. Two, two optional, and uh, throw Jim Dandy to the rescue on the box and go get her dumbass. That ain't my job anymore. First of all, there's no fucking phone booths to jump into the Captain Save a Whole Outfit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just when I think I'm done with stupid, stupid insanity. Crazy woman. I was told, told to stay away from her because she was crazy, but no, I didn't listen. So I'm going to sit back and see where this goes because I'm bored. About the time I let her know that, hey, financially, I'm fucked right now, dear. This new generator thing cost me a few dollars to get all hooked back up. And the way gas prices are going, I can't afford to take the truck anywhere. Because she mentioned she might have to go out panhandling for the money to get what she thinks it is. 
And I said, well, you know, why don't you send me pictures of what you're working on? Take a picture and I'll tell you what it is. Because I can't. I won't. It's not in my best interest to really help her. Like I said, I'm confused. 11 fucking months of go the fuck away, leave me alone, I don't need a fucking babysitter, and now that her car breaks down, it's like, help me. I knew the other morning when I woke up singing Beach Boys Help Me Rhonda, Saturday morning that got, damn it, bitches thinking about me. Sunday, she gets a hold of me. Monday, she's still texting me. Uh, this could lead to some conversations. And if we start conversating again, ah, uh, damn it, I know better than this. I know better than this. Uh, How's that? Fool me once, shame on me. First, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Something like that. Once bitten, twice shy. Ah, fuck. Well, we'll see where it goes. I mean, I can kind of forgive her, but not forget. I'm not good on this forgiveness shit. And, uh... I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking maybe I should just block her number and ignore she exists. She's going to be the one to get me into trouble. But she does know that dinner's at six and she's welcome to come home anytime. Just don't bring one of her little friends with her.